Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm Ash, and so today we're going to be doing a Neokyo haul. Yay! Sorry if I don't sound great, or if you can hear A, a fan, B, a rooster, three, um, the pet bird. Um, <laughs> it's currently in the morning. I woke up at seven. I forgot I didn't have to work today, and so I'm filming this before I start my day because I was supposed to film it last night and I put on these nails last night so I could film and then I realized it was 10 30 <laughs> and I was like not gonna happen I ended up staying up too late because I was packing and sorting go stuff so anyways um let's get into it I got this I think two weeks ago so <laughs> I've been itching literally itching to open it as you see it's been open and i put stickers over it to keep it closed again because i was nervous about dust and dirt and things um i did open it already that two weeks ago when i first got it and i just took all my names off of everything so really don't remember what's in here but also kind of sort of we're we're gonna go with it <laughs> anyways so let's just open this real quick I was gonna leave the box open, but I figured, I know when I watch videos of hauls and stuff, the most satisfying part is not what they got, it's like what they're, the actual opening of it. And so I was like, if I don't open this box, then am I really doing an unboxing? No. I'm gonna leave this here and then put it off to the side and grab things one at a time. So I think I'm gonna do them by groups, that way I can kind of make timestamps for if you only want to see some things open but if you guys would rather just me pick random stuff then let me know and we can for sure do that next time because i already have another one being made at neoko right now so the first thing i'm going to do is these miscellaneous things they're either groups that i mean are really nugu or <coughs> disbanded <coughs> and i still collect or just like one-off things and so that's what we're going to do everything else really has like pairs of stuff let's just get into it first i have this jayhan card obviously <laughs> i don't collect jayhan um i definitely kind of do um i'm actually it's, this is a i'm bearing my soul to you guys this was a birthday present to myself but also i have recently realized that maybe i'm not jayhan biased and in fact taehyung biased well, let me zoom you guys in y'all are so far away hello hi welcome to the show um what was i even saying if you guys know anything about the nct trading community um it is one hard to be a jayhan biased and two almost harder to be a taehyung biased collecting so maybe we just Maybe we just buy certain cards we want and not really collect one or the other. Maybe we do both and maybe we suffer along the way. So here's Jan's card. This is from Sticker. Yeah, this is one of the things I want for my birthday. So I got it. Next are some really exciting things for me personally. Um, I don't, you guys don't know this because I've never, I don't think I've shown them on this channel yet. But I love this group called TST or Top Secret. Um, they unfortunately disbanded about 2020 or so, um, so I never really got to experience them while they were active, but I still love them so much, and I try to buy things for them when I can, and I'm foolishly trying to collect their photo cards. Um, it's not going very well. I probably won't find more than I've already found because they just kind of don't exist anymore, um. But I did, when I was first looking for things for them, I found this th these things on Neokyo for like $2 a piece. Not, maybe not two. Maybe like $4 a piece. But still, like $4, and I mean like this was like probably three, this was probably four, four, and then like three. And they're all signed. Multiple signed. Yeah. Yeah. I was... I was all down for it. I mean, even if they aren't, like, really signed, do I really care? No, because these are so cute. And he is my bias wrecker. So, like, I was buying them. <laughs> like, you know? Like, I wasn't... I didn't care if they were real. Uh, they were $4 a piece and they were Polaroids of my... This sort of cutie that I'm so sad that they're not a group anymore. But let me just... Let's just uh, open these. I'm so excited. 
I don't think I've seen this many signed things in one spot before. Um, <laughs> I have a problem. This is so cute. Do I think these are real? No. Do I care? No. I think these might be real. I don't know. I don't know how many signed things they actually put out when they were active. Okay, so let's go through the small ones first. Here's the first one. Let me put them down because I'm not going to remember what order they were in. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in love. He is so cute. My friend, actually, this is her bias. His name is Jung-Hoon. Um, this is her bias in TST because I got her into them after they disbanded and she hates me for it. <laughs> um, oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I might give her some of these just because, like... I don't need all of these, obviously. I just bought them because, like, if nobody else is going to love them, I'm going to love them. Oh my gosh, this is cute. So, okay, so fun fact. Sorry, I'm about to drop a war for you guys so you guys can also fall in love with them because I need people to understand how much TST means to me. This actually is, like, their, you know, like, stray kids, like, step out. This is theirs, so there's, like, shh, hello, we are top secret because you're supposed to keep the secret of them. I was like, ugh. How cute. So that's actually what that's about. That's so cute. I might, I need this one. Like, <laughs> this has to stay with me. Um, this is him with his little hair clips, getting his hair done before performance. How cute. Little half heart. A heart. And these, this, this, him sleeping. How cute. He's obviously fake sleeping, but it's still cute nonetheless. And this is him when he was blonde. Oh my gosh. How cute. These must have been like all from like one or two eras because he was only blonde for maybe the f I think the earlier days, so like um, to top secret time. So, this is the bigger ones. How cute! There's actually, I think, I have another postcard from the album with him in this exact pose, so that's funny. Oh, here's the, the thing again their like um, intro thing. Oh, these are from the same day. How cute. He looks so cutie in this. This had to be from like performances because this is what they wore for Countdown. Oh, shut up. Y'all, these two together are so cute. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. These little bit are so cute. How am I supposed to move on from him? I can't, was this the first one? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, this was so good. I was so excited to open these. So now I'm going to go and like, we're going to do the smaller things first and then end with the bigger things because I have a couple of bigger items in here, but um, we're going to go like least to most. So like what I have the least for and the most for, which is going to be such a shock because the person I have the least for is my man Taehyun. Um, I was gonna buy more for him, but it's just like I was in the middle of so many comebacks and starting new collections and stuff that I just, I got like things that I thought were cheaper or that like I needed. And so like, we're gonna start with this, um, I don't know how you say this, 40 yen? 40 yen? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, this is one of the merch collabs they do very often. And so, yeah, this is the Linty version. I actually have the photo card version of this. I got it off Mercari US. This that will be in like my collective haul for March that I need to film at some point, but I haven't yet. Um, yeah, so this is his Linty. Um, yeah, this is super cute. This was, I think, I don't know when this collab was from. I'm gonna be so real. There's so many of them, like, there's so many different ones they've done. So, yeah, there's the hand. <laughs> I just really wanted that. I'm like, this is gonna sound so crazy because I know a lot of people don't like them. I love Linties. Like, if I'm gonna get any card, it's gonna be a Linty cooler. <laughs> I love them. Like, Thursday Child Linties, dude, I almost got an OT5 for them even after I dropped OT5 because I love them so much. But I just don't like how, I don't like how they look in a binder. They look bad. Because <laughs> they messed them up. But yeah, if they're done well, they look really cool. Okay, so this is his seven net card from Sweet. Oh my gosh, look at the hollow sleeve. I actually joined a go for this, but um, my gong DM'd me at the end of the go and was like, hey, sorry, 
seven that like messed up the order and so I know you couldn't take him but you're actually gonna get a Hinokai and I was like that's fine however this card went on resale because it's so freaking cute for like $30 a pop and so I waited until uh, there was a 20% off coupon and I got it which that's how I'm gonna be so frank most of the stuff I waited until there was a coupon to get it just because of how much it's priced like especially the stuff for like gin that I'm gonna have like I only got it with a coupon I would not pay the prices they're selling them for if it was a regular price okay who's next I'm gonna say eight turns next and so um look away and by that I mean watch me but watch me in shame um I obviously I mean not obviously I you guys probably don't know but when a turn first debuted I was so into them like I was fully collecting Heyman like I had every pop on the way every lucky draw like I was in it for the long run oh my gosh this is so scary wait but um to this day it's been over a year since they debuted and all of the pre-order stuff and the lucky draws that I joined for for one gome she still has like I think her friend ended up taking over the goes and her mom is helping that friend do it, like, to this day. Like, I think I just paid doms for them, so I think it might get sent out this month sometime. I don't even know. But, yeah, that, like, put a down thing on the whole thing. A, a downer on the whole, like, experience. So I really just stopped collecting him fully, and so I just collect his album cards now. But there are some things over there that were just so cute that I had to have them. <laughs> Um, which is fine, like, I don't set rules for him, just only album cards, but I don't, like, collect everything anymore, so. Yeah, these are some album cards. I think these are polka album cards, actually. Maybe? I don't even know anymore. I really was not in it for this era at all. Um, these are some from Uncharted Drift, which was their second, this is their first comeback, but their second mini album, so. There's this one. Super cute. And then this ugly ass outfit he looks so cute in it but like the hat is so gross i hate it i hated this fit which is why i didn't like this comeback very much because this is the outfit they promoted in the most or like not promoted them but had the most pictures in i guess i just i didn't like it everybody else looked okay that hat was but ugly sorry i'll be the first and the last to say it it was gross um okay i don't know what this card's from but the back is super cute so I'm gonna assume a turntable. I don't know what that is. It's probably some event they had. I just really don't know anymore. I, they do so much stuff since they're an Mnet group that like I am tired. Like I'm tired and lost and I don't know where we are most of the time. There are two things in here. <gasps> stop, these are so cute. They match. Oh my God, uh, stop. I love him so much. He's so cute. He was like, I was so excited for them to debut because I've been into them since like pre-debut. And so like I've watched their like, not, I watched their like um, vlogs and stuff. Like when they went to Japan to learn dance before they debuted, I was so excited. Like I loved those vlogs and stuff. I still go watch them to this day. But yeah. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I'm so glad I got those. I tried to get them in like pairs I guess or like things that I thought would be cute and matched but um now that I'm looking at them <laughs> in here I don't think I bought an even number of cards so there went that effort out the window oh maybe I did maybe there's two in here call me a liar definitely not calling you a truth oh, have you guys seen the new Nickelodeon documentary that was insane don't know how Dan Schneider is literally like a free man at all. Like I've been wondering this for days, uh, not days, but like years now. But um, yeah, after that documentary, I don't know how Dan Schneider, one, lives with himself, two, walks around a free man. This is just one card I'm seeing. So maybe I did only buy an odd amount. I was supposed to buy an even amount just because I collect him in uh, A5. So I need them to be in sets of four. <laughs> Sorry. Me and my friend have been either, like, we'll FaceTime all the time and we'll either do like a Valley Girl accent <laughs> or we'll do like a aggressive Southern, like, hey y'all, how y'all doing? <laughs> like accent, like our grandmas do. <laughs> and so like, I just, I've gotten into such a bad habit of doing it. 
I almost did it at work yesterday and I was like, oh my god, like this needs to stop. Okay, so this is another turntable thing. I don't know what this is for. This is obviously an event they did. Maybe it was like a pop-up thing, maybe? I remember these being pop-up cards, but I don't remember them all being the same. So like, whatever. But this is a cute bag. Like the sky in the background, that's adorable. Opening things with nails is so hard, guys. <laughs> why, do you, why do I do this to myself? I don't wear nails ever, unless I'm filming. Like I'll put on nails to film. <laughs> Okay, here's his card. It's so cute. I saw him with the headphones and I was like, I don't know what about this is so cute, but I need it. <laughs> like, he does things to me. He's my baby. He's like a few months younger than me. Like, we were born the same year, but he's like my child. Like, a turn are all my children, except the ones that are older than me, but they're still my children. Do you get it? You don't, if you get it, you get it. But if you don't, then whatever. <laughs> I'm not asking you to get it. I'm asking you to love me how I am. Sorry, I'm in like such a goofy mood today. Now we're getting there. I think this and the next one I'm gonna open are from the same seller because they're packaged the exact same. Like down to the freaking sticker. I like the sticker. This is so smart. Shut up. I'm keeping this. Thank you. But oh my god, guys, isn't this so cute? Like, shut up. <laughs> he is so cute. Oh my gosh. I think his nose says love myself. That's adorable. Okay, so this is a mixed art card. I had no idea. I'm like so for real. I just bought things that were cute. Like I just looked up a turn him and it was like, oh my god, that's cute. I need it. Their newest comeback. What was it? What was it called? Stunning. Dude, that album is so good. And the album concept, I'm such a like I know I say this almost every video now, but like my entire like aesthetic, I guess, is like red, black, gray, white, like that sort of vibe which is that entire album concept and they were all blonde to match each other and i was like yes which i can't remember who's doing that now txt i was like dude you guys are copying my babies they did it first <laughs> i really don't care like take that with a grain of salt i really do not care but i thought it was funny um here's this card this is so cute i use i'm such a huge mario fan like I, that was my game when i was growing up i played mario everything um, so I got this. I don't know what it's from. I know it's from this album, obviously, but I don't know what store it's from or like what it is. So this is what- this is this. <laughs> I really don't know what it's from, but it was so cute. I needed it. Okay, I guess this is also from the same seller. I guess the- you guys are- you're welcome, seller, because I gave you like all of my wallet, so. Can you guys like hear the rooster? I think it's so funny. Like, I obviously can't do anything about it because it's like it's a rooster, but y'all know I live on a farm. There he goes. <laughs> I just I live on a farm and I can't help that the rooster crows. I can't help it. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> it's such a bad habit. I need to get out of it. Okay, and I think this is a, another Polka album card. I could be so wrong. I really don't know. Like, <laughs> y'all, I'm being so for I don't know anymore. Um, these cards were so long ago. Like, I know I finished his album cards with this. So, I just, I don't know which or which, though. Like, these could be flipped. I really don't know where they go. So, next is going to be Yuno. I actually went and um, decided I was going to collect Yuno a little differently. So, I went and finished his witness not witness what is this movement cards um and that's it like i'm gonna collect from movement forward which was probably my goal at one point i think that was i was gonna collect movement forward and then i was like you know what like i'll collect i'll back collect for him it'll be fine but then like i went and like was looking at my collection which is like i'm almost two i think i have two outlaw cards away and i'm done and i was like this is all i need like, I don't need to back collect for him because I don't want to. Like, I was forcing myself to back collect for him. And I was like, I don't need to do that. Like, it does not need to happen. So, this is his... Uh, I'm gonna say Z version. It could be the diary. I really don't know anymore. I think the diary is the yellow version. But this is one of his album cards. I think... 
it, I mean, it is. I just don't know which version it is. And so, yeah, I got that. And then I got his ID that goes with it because I hadn't got all of them yet. Yeah. I had, since those IDs didn't fit on the page with the rest of the album cards, I put, um, I got some other cards to, like, fill in the gaps. So I got this pop and a couple others that were just, like, you know make the rest of the nine pocket which wasn't very many i think i got like six cards and two of them were like hello 82 cards and so they were dirt cheap they're not in here i got those in my car us but um yeah this is an everline pod so yay <laughs> um super cute i just wanted something that would like kind of match the vibe i was going with which now that i'm looking at it it definitely doesn't but that's okay because like who really cares <laughs> not me Okay, here's the last of his album cards, and so this is his digipack, and I think his diary version ID, or the yellow version anyway. I don't know what they're called anymore. I don't know which one's which. I don't know if I ever did, really. I just go off what my template says. Oh, does this have the other ID in it, too? I might have double bought that ID just because it was cheaper with the ID than without. So this is his digipack. I've never actually owned one of these. I was so excited. At one point, I was going to collect OT8 for the Digipack, which I might still do because I try to collect OT8 set for one era, like each era, and this might be the one because I love the Digipack cards. Like, I love them so much. Yeah, and here's this ID again. And then this is his other ID card. I liked movement. That was my, that's what got me into ATs. I loved. Not, is this movement? Yeah, it was movement. Okay. And this is the rest of the- oh my gosh, I got freebies? Stop. They like- I never get freebies from Japanese sellers. That's so cute. Okay, but this is the other pods I got. Um, I don't remember what they're from, but I think this was probably either like a fan sign or something, or just like something super cheap, because they were all cheap. Like, just all of them. And shout out to the Togwood or two. Like, oh, they were Beat Road X something, so. I don't know what that means, but they were they were cheap. Like both of them together were cheap. So I don't know what the deal with that is. And there were so many of them too. Maybe there was just like nobody wanted them. I don't know. Okay, here's some freebies. There's this Uno sticker and this Uno sticker. Okay, and here's this one. Is this also are they both beat road? Yeah, so they match. This is why I got them. I got them because their backs matched. Cause I do remember the backing being on the listing. Oh my gosh, the hollow sleeve too. Girl, y'all are too nice to me. This, I love this seller. I don't know who they are, but they are my new favorite. So this one's super cute. Oh my gosh. I love when he holds his cheeks in pictures. Because he has such big cheeks. I'm gonna, don't be mad at me. I'm gonna stack these just because I want this to be an even row, if you know. <laughs> okay. And then this is the other one. I think this is a hollow one. I could be so wrong though, girl. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, it's a hollow one. Which I was like, I saw this one, it was hollow. And I was like, how is this cheap? Like, a hollow card is usually so expensive for you, know? Yay! Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm like, I've been dying to open this. So like, now that I'm seeing it all laid out, I'm like, oh, my, I'm being fed. Okay, let's get into Stray Kids. So I think we're going to do the big one first. And then we'll get to the little stuff. Okay, so I got the headliner version of the album because I didn't have it. And I couldn't find it anywhere where I was at for some reason. I only bought, like, one version of this album. No, I bought two. I bought this. I bought the regular version. No, I bought the limited version and the postcard version. But I didn't get this one. And I really like this one even though it's pink. So I wanted to get it because I think it looks like a magazine. And I thought that was so cool. Which I guess that's the whole point of, like, the headliner version. So... Whatever. But I got this because it had um, a With Me pub. But I thought I got it for some Maybe I just got it because it was the album and it had pubs. So maybe that's why. I don't really remember why I bought this. I know I wanted the album, but I don't. I, did it come with an album card? Like, surely it did. I guess not. But yeah, it just like, it's super simple. I love this concept. So I wanted this. But it's like, it's literally just like a magazine. Like, they just like, hold, like they did magazine shoots. Super cool. Poor Sigmund. He keeps hiding from me. There it is. But yeah, I thought it was super cool. So, I got it. And it's super small, so like, it's it's not going to take up much space to get it. And then this is 
the mini poster, I guess. No, it's a fold out. This is the fold out that comes with it. Cute. The two sided. Yeah. And then this is his HMV pop, I think. I love these posters. Like, this is gorgeous. That probably is what drove me to buy it more than anything because I saw this poster. It's so pretty. Yeah. Excited to have it. And then this is his Whitney Wood Pop. Um, I got a few pops for him this era because this has been like my favorite Stray Kids era for a while. I really liked Maxident, but like this is like, I loved Rockstar. It's like probably one of my favorite albums from them right now. So yeah, I just, I got a card. It's whatever. This is with my card. It was cute. He is cute. Yeah. I love I love the back of it too. It looks like rumpled paper. That's cute. This is his, I think this is the headliner version PC. Yeah. I think so. If I remember correctly. Oh, please don't tell me I stuck to the tape. That's so scary. Okay. Yeah. Here's his headliner version album card. Oh my gosh, it has a pizza on the back. I just noticed. It's like the biggest thing on the thing. And I'm like, oh my god, I just noticed that. That's so weird. <laughs> But yeah, he has like a fake AirPod in and stuff. I think that's so funny. <laughs> so this is some random stuff. So I wanted this um, charm from the Nemo version um, that gets on the front here. But I couldn't find it like with a Nemo album that had like all of the cards with it. And so I just bought it in this set because how cute. I wanted to start collecting these type of things anyways for him. So I might as well get a head start on it with some things I needed. Or I might just, I don't know. I don't know what I want to collect for him anymore. I need to really rethink about my life. So here's his um, charm from the um, Nemo version, which I think these were random. So yay. Um, I don't like these charms. BTS recently did something with charms, like, um, for their newest DVD, or like their digital code. And I was like, girl, don't ever do this again. <laughs> like, make this stop. This has got to stop. So yeah, here's this one. I don't know what this is from, actually. It looks like something, like, holiday related, but I really could not tell you. But isn't it so cute? Girl, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a sucker for things of badge to match. Like... Yeah, if I can get a third one of that with him in that same outfit, if it exists, I'll be so happy. And next is, oh my gosh, this is a cute note. I wish I knew what that said. So this is the Nemo version. Oh my gosh, this is like a cardboard almost. Like, I thought this was paper. I couldn't, I just like, I bought a full one. <laughs> like, it's unsealed obviously, but it has all like the cards in it because I wanted the, the, the set, you know. But I just, I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't want to pay the American prices for it. So I got it on Neo Q. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Thank you for the tab, JYP. I know I said I just hate your guts, but I maybe hate them a little less now. <laughs> that was, I'm kidding. I still hate your guts. Where's the actual, like, quote unquote album? Found it. It was right there. But this is cute. This is a good filler. Like, catch me putting that in my binder. There's something on the back of this. <gasps> Y'all. <laughs> the clownery. I pulled I in. Are you serious? Dude, I'm pissed. I bought that for no reason now. Oh my gosh. My dumbass. These are cute too. These would also be for good fillers. Dude, I'm pissed. I can't believe I pulled I in in this. The things I do for straight kids. Like, have an extra I in thing. What a, what a, th what a problem. I can just put it somewhere. But yeah, this comes in the OT8 set in every album, which thank God, because MX did not. Even though I don't collect them, I've just heard war stories. I'm just gonna know. You probably can't see them. I'm so sorry. I'm such an awful YouTuber. Let's jump in. This is cute. Hyunjin. I actually pulled Hyunjin in my postcard version, but I gave it to my friend because she was there and she's Hyunjin biased. So, honey. He is cute. I love this hair on him. Felix. Oh my god. I almost dropped him. Sigmund. This gun, I wanted. Ian has a pod with this and I wanted it so bad. 
but it's so overpriced because he's holding the gun. And he was in this outfit too. They must have been the same photo shoot. But yeah. I think it's the same set that has um, Chan in this outfit with like the clown mask or whatever. This is um, some album cards and also some pubs. I think they weren't a big set, so I just bought them. I do already have some of these cards, so who cares? Really, who gives a shit? I bought this for the pub, so whatever. I think it's just HMV. Nope, not HMV. What? Which one was it? Was it HMV? Was it UMS? What was it? It was the one that you could either get like a sparkly version or non-sparkly version, and I wanted the sparkly version. So, I got it. <laughs> but it was cheaper to get it in like a set like this than like it would be on its own. Not on its own, but like it it was cheaper to get this and get some album cards I needed with it than to get it on its own. Here is the unit. I already have this. So, here is his version. This is probably the postcard version if I had to take a shot at it because this is the outfit they were wearing for it. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I've looked. And then this is also from the postcard version. Yeah, because I think I pulled Chan's for this, so I needed his. And then this is also for H&B. Okay, so these come in a set probably. Here's his H &B. Oh my gosh, this is so cutie. Here's his H &B. It's super hollow. It's so gorgeous. It's like almost a little too hollow sometimes. Like I can't see the picture without it being hollow. Okay, and then last is this other H &B card. It's a concept card and it has his little signature at the bottom. I think it's so cute. Not cute, but he looks good in it. Like, drop my paints. I'm like, for good. Uh, I love him. He is my first old. Like I still buy him so hard. Like <laughs> he's on my he's on my top three for realsies. Okay, so maybe we make a pit stop before all the BTS stuff. So next is this Good and Great album from Key. I actually went to the K-pop store the other day and they had this, but I had already bought it, so like I don't need it. But I actually bought the rest of Key's discography because it was on sale for like twenty percent off. So. I know I don't talk about Shiny on this channel because I'm not like a huge shovel, but like I love Shiny music and Shiny itself. Like I'm pretty much of a shovel without like admitting it. But one thing I really love is Key's solo music. Um, I'm such a Key stan. I think his solo work is just so great. Um, the this paperclip is so freaking cute. I love this this packaging. He always eats with the packaging. You can go there, because that's where you were supposed to go at one point. Okay, so here's good and great. I obviously have all the inclusions over here. Um, oh my gosh, it comes all the way off. I thought it would, like, stay on the side. This is so cute, and there's a little heart on it. Oh my gosh, Key is so cute. Yeah, thank God I wasn't into Shiny when they enlisted, because I don't know if I would have made it. I'm being for real. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little paper airplane. Kind of just glance and everything. This is cute. Oh my god, stop. I think it's funny that like all the packaging for albums has like gone to English because it used to be all in Korean. This is like <laughs> my NDA. <gasps> Eight boots the house down. That's so pretty. Okay. And then here's some more things. <gasps> How cute. He ate boots. Me when I eat boots. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love. This album was glorious. I remember listening to it when it first came out. I was obsessed. I think I listened to it like... I wouldn't like listen to it like on repeat all day, but like I would be listening to another song and then I would get like good and great stuck in my head and then I would put it on again. <laughs> and then I'd get like... um cool as stuck in my head and I put it on again <laughs> and so like yeah I would just like put it on like um the lineup throughout the day and this is his little like um 
ID photo. So like the file is supposed to be like a case file almost like on key. Um, so this is like the the picture that goes on the front of it to like show who it is. So cute. This is a little four cut, which I love this picture. I'm such a key fan, y'all. Uh, he's my bias. Like I thought it was um, Taman for the longest, but I'm a key bias. What can I say? He is so cute. There were actually like um, a lot of different like mismatched inclusions on Yokio for this album, but I decided with that photo card, so I went with this version. I love these little dudes, these little like fuzzy guys in the back. They're so cute. And this is a, y'all don't clown me. This is a binder divider thing for Superhuman for Jay Hyun. It was like, I don't know, six bucks or something like that. I don't know. I saw these in a Ratty's binder for Mark and I was like, you know what? I love those. I wish everybody would make those because I eat it up. Yeah, but this is Jahan's um, Superhuman Binder Divider. Super cute. It's obviously unopened because I don't know how they would have opened that and then put it back. But, oh, there's like a clear thing on the front too that protects it. How cool. But yeah, I wish so many other companies did this because I would buy all of them. So into the BTS stuff, I bought, this was more stuff that I bought for my birthday, most of this. So like, don't think I just spend money like this for fun because I don't. Um, this was a big, like, set of Jimin things, which this is when I was gonna, like, collect Jimin, so that's what that's about. But, I mean, if I can find it for Jimin for the price I did, I can definitely find it for Jim. Yeah, this is his Break the Silence Persona, like, mask holder thing that they had. Not my favorite of the inclusions, but, I mean, it has Jimin's face on it, so that's... I bought it. I don't know what most of this is. I'm gonna be so for real with you. <laughs> I just bought it. Like, it had a bunch of stuff in it and it was cheap for how much stuff it had in it. So I was like, thank you, I'm buying it. I think this is from Proof. I think it's like one of those, like, um, I think it's a thing from Proof. But I really don't know, I'm being honest. I'm gonna leave this behind it. Yeah, I don't know. I know there's like a, I know there's, I know this is, was this around proof? Guys, you let me know. I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've like looked into everything. But, and this is from VT. That's cute. This feels nice. This is, he's so pretty in this. I remember seeing this picture and I was like, yeah, well, if I wasn't gonna buy it, I am now. <laughs> and this is Fila, I'm assuming. This is one of their Fila collabs. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is so my vibe. The red is so gorgeous very pretty excited to have Jin's equivalent to that because I love the quality of those yeah. this is Jin's um, postcard from that so yeah very pretty and then some more <laughs> um, this is from love yourself speak yourself Japan edition this is Jibin's postcard as most of this is just postcards, which I love postcards, get me, don't get me wrong. I'd rather collect postcards than photo cards sometimes. This is so pretty. It looks gorgeous. Here's some more postcards. I don't know if these are official. You guys let me know if they are. Um, I'm assuming this is from Love Yourself, Speak Yourself. Probably in Japan. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty nonetheless. I mean, I'm gonna put it in my binder either way, even though it's fake. Which I don't think they are because this is also on Fujifilm, which is usually what they print. But they usually don't have this on them, the BTS underscore question question mark JPG. Yeah, I don't think these are official. Like this just looks like it's from on. I don't think they would have included this in anything. So yeah, whatever. But they're cute. I'll put them in there somewhere. This is also from Love Yourself, Speak Yourself. Japan edition and this looks like it's a pop or something maybe it's just the Japanese version I don't know but it's super pretty okay so I am a little silly just a little silly um I bought um this no I bought the other one first but I bought 
Jen's Proof um, Heart Hollow from Japan Fan Club, I think, with this. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I think it was like $10. And I was like, yeah, I think I will. But um, I actually forgot that a week earlier I had bought this, which is the same thing, but it comes with this like um, postcard and album card for also the same price. Okay, here is his postcard, one of his album cards, and then his Japan Fan Club pre-order benefit from Proof. Um, I think this is from the standard version, which has it has him walking away, and then him being gorgeous on the front. Literally gorgeous. I actually already have this card. I'm gonna have to sell this too, because I have Jimin and Jin's for this. So here's his Japan fan club holo. I'm literally stunned. I never thought I'd own one of these, and I own two. Like that's insane. But these are so pretty. I know they're a little dark, like, um, just, like, image-wise, but I love that about them. Like, I love how dark they are. I think Jimin's, if I remember right, is one of the darker ones, and it's a, it is a little too dark, I'm gonna be real. Okay, but this is, once again, his Japan Fan Club card. I'm not gonna open it. Is this sealed? I'm like the original packaging? That's insane. Yeah, but I'm not gonna open it. It's just, it's the same card. We just looked at it. And then this is a bookmark. Is this like a real proof thing? I don't know if this is actual like, I think this is just like a little thing some Japan store was selling that they included with it. But like, whatever, I have it, so. Okay, and then this, if you're insane and you can recognize it from the back, is something from face that was one of my prios that i got for my birthday i got myself for my birthday it's his um also japan fan club but it's like the double one from face which i'm still on the struggle bus of deciding if i want to just collect fake things or real things for face because my wallet would hate it but i would love it but really don't care if they're fake or not at this point anyways um, this is, oh, is it sealed in the back? Oh, duh, because it's never been opened. I'm not going to unseal it right now. But this is his hollow one from the Japan Fan Club. Super pretty. Got his chesticles out. And then this is the other one. The dark concept. Super gorgeous. I'm so excited to have these. I'm so scared for how damaged these are going to be because I know everybody else's have been. Like, Jungkook's had some on it when I got it. So Next is Jin. From Mott's One. This is not the entire set. I think this is half, if not a little less than half of the set, but it was a good price, so I grabbed it. Yeah, I've since went on a rampage buying Jen things. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the washi tape. It's like this cute, like Winnie the Pooh washi tape. I love Winnie the Pooh. Can you guys see it? It's so cute. Daisy and Daiso, that's adorable. I wish I still sold that. I actually went to Daiso for the first time the other day. I should not have bought the things I did. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so here's, I think this comes with a dupe too. I really don't know. It might not, I can't remember. Yeah, this is six out of eight. Oh my God, no. <laughs> this is seven out of eight. This is one out of eight. Oh my gosh, I just scratched it with my nail. My dumb ass. Mats are so hard to keep nice and clean. This is three out of eight. Was this the first one? No, this was. And this is eight out of eight. So, this is most of them. How many do I have? Is this six? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five out of eight. I'm only missing three. So, that's exciting. This was also one of the things I bought for my birthday. This was like cheap, on the cheaper side, so I just got it. Um, I don't know, this was one of the things, I bought this the same day I bought this in the Jaehan card. I was just picking up little things to make it like worth the PayPal fee. 
I usually keep top loaders just to save like the plastic like from being too much waste but if it has tape and stuff all over it I don't like to because I think that it ruins them so I also like keeping these because they're good for like sales and freebies and stuff but yeah here's his oh it has stuff on it that's so gross what the frick it has like it's not like scratches but like that definitely like got stuff on it that's okay it's gonna be in the sleeve you really can't see it so who cares but yeah this is his persona card i don't remember which one it is but it's one of them so i have it <laughs> i'm so bad with like remembering what things are and this was also a good price i think this was like 20 dollars, and then i had a coupon with it and so i got it was 20 percent off 20. i got it for like 16 bucks which is not bad it's actually pretty good for a memories card so which honestly nothing will deter you from collecting more than trying to look for somebody's card and seeing like j-hope or namjoon's equivalent for like a quarter of the price or half the price like bro <laughs> put them all at that price if you can if you can like cut your losses with one member cut them all with all of them you know like i'm i hate that collecting has like because you i wasn't collecting for years and years like i've only been collecting for like a year and a half now but looking back and watching videos from like four three years ago like before or like right before covid hit which i guess would be five years ago now which is so weird um you look and you're like you know collecting used to be so much fun you used to be able to buy things for cheap because people wanted you to have them like it wasn't a profit thing people wanted to just have people like people have cards the resellers weren't really a thing back then so but yeah um dumbo shirt yeah i needed it i really don't care that he's rolling a rose it's cute but i love the dumbo shirt so i needed it so bad i'm such a disney fanatic like not even disney but like old disney like dumbo winnie the pooh fox and the hound i love to have stuff like that the last but not least the most personally the most exciting part of this entire haul um i'm ecstatic right now i found this for such a good price not really but in my head the math i did right before i bought it it was a good price if that if that coupon didn't exist i would not have bought it but you guys you guys i'm <laughs> i'm ecstatic right now this is insane that i have these and that they're in good condition guys are you looking at them because i'm i'm so excited if there's one thing i love collecting it's tour stuff and like postcards so like tour postcards sign me up i think this is from the second fan meeting which is insane guys this is so cute i'm like stunned that i own this oh my god and i like just my thing is like I've, I watch collectors I've been collecting for years and just buy these. Like, I just started collecting gin and found this good of a deal on them. Like, that's insane. There's his second fan meeting. Are you kidding? I think this is also from the second fan meeting. No, this is from H108 on stage. This is five out of five. Oh my gosh, these are in so good condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, that one has a little mark, but you can't really see it. But, like, they're almost perfect like they might have a little scratch on them just from like existing but otherwise they're gorgeous oh my god this is beautiful okay and then this is two out of five and then this is also from h so this is four out of five so i have three out of the five which is insane to say out loud they just packaged it in two things Oh my god guys stop i'm gonna cry stop right now guys this is not this is no 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 emergency surgery okay packaging is so dangerous sometimes <laughs> for real um this is his 2017 the wings tour polaroid type thing 
super cute. I'm so excited to have that too. I really love the wing store. Now guys, this is what's insane. This is from what, Second Muster? I, I don't remember what the numbers are, but like, what? I own these? And yeah, they're all on like camera pictures, but they're real. Am I, wait, am I crazy? Are these real? Are they supposed to be on pictures like this? Guys. Okay, edit, I'm not gonna be sad right now. Editing me, let me know. <laughs> Go do your research, let me know if these are real. Um, I, I think they are. I don't remember if they're on picture or not. Cause I, I feel like I remember seeing the numbers on the back of somebody opening them. If they're not real, I'm pissed. We're gonna end it right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go check out my socials. Go check out Scout's socials. Um, go watch Scout's videos. Go watch all of our videos. I am going to be putting these away eventually when I find the time and the, the resources to film. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Like, yeah, if you guys would rather me go in like random order and just pick up things out of the box instead of like putting them in group order, totally let me know that can definitely be arranged for next time but yeah i will thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye bye